Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's been a while, so welcome to the newest edition of East One Chronicles, my very first Let's Play. And on our last episode, uh, we had just defeated another boss on Darm Tower. As you can see, we're now on the 25th floor. However, we cannot proceed any further because we missed an item all the way back on the 11th floor. That we need to get from Luta Gemma. So let's start heading back down and hopefully this doesn't take forever. So I'm going to try to avoid as many enemies as possible since I've maxed out my experience and my gold. I just don't see the point in fighting. I'm a pacifist now. on this floor.
There we go. Okay, and we are back. Now before we go any further, to remember, equip all silver equipment. You could do this because it's weaker, but the last boss can only be harmed by silver equipment, sadly. Heal up. And here we go. Wow, he's a lot bigger in this game. And even has red text, so you can know he's evil. bad for our first try, I must say. on a hole. I'd like to see somebody no hit this boss. That was cheap. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Hey, I got your game. Asshole. Well, that was really fucking hard. I don't know if I... If it took me more chances to beat this guy when I played the uh, Turbo Graphics version, but this was really hard. Alright, now what happens? I fall down the hole here? Or... Now what do I do? No. Well, I guess I should save. Yes, after that. Freaking hard boss battle. So... Oh, right. The, uh... Where was that? The bottom. Oh, my hand hurts. The morning sun began to rise. Gradually, the sky brightened, and the tower's outline began to shimmer like a mirage. As if freed from captivity, birds began to sing, and the demons dissolved into air. Edo felt the weight of a long journey lift from his heart. The world was at peace. It was as though the historic bounty of East had been laid before him, which had filled his eyes and soul. As the things written in the books vanished, one by one, the shapes of the goddesses began to materialize. Though their faces were unfamiliar, Edo felt in some way that he had always known them. Think? As he looked down upon the earth, he could see Jabba's house, quiet and humble. He wondered if Fina's memory had come back. He decided that when he returned, he would immediately tell her of all that he had seen. A dazzling light, seemingly from all sides at once, bathed Adol in radiance. He felt certain that it must be wishing him peace and good fortune. And so, Adol began a new journey. That journey is East 2. Ooh, spacey. So, I guess that's it. That's the end of East 1 Chronicles. Um, so, what do I think of the game? Well, it's really not much of an improvement over the uh, last version I played for the Turbo Graphics. I mean, oh, voice acting. Okay, I'll shut up now. For Oh. Sorry, my dog is here.
So the key to defeating Dark Fact is definitely to run around in large circles so that he doesn't eliminate the center of the battlefield there by trapping you and making it difficult to move, if not impossible. East 2 is definitely a lot longer than East 1, plus it has magic, which is a nice little thing to mix things up. So, I guess that's it for East 1. Um, so, I guess, what do I think of the game? Well, you know, I really never understood the fascination with, well, I can't comment on the later East games, but I never really understood the fascination with the first two, because, I mean, certainly from an aesthetic standpoint, they're revolutionary. Um, they were one of the first video games to use Red Book audio, animated cutscenes, voice acting, those kinds of things, but um, the games are very, very short, I, especially, I mean, even back then. You know, we're talking like the uh, late 80s, the games were very short, and um, the Chronicles version, there's a billion different versions of the first two East games. This is only the second version I've played, and um, really the only thing that they changed was they uh, updated the soundtrack and, uh, and the graphics, and... Uh, they eliminated the cutscenes and 99.9% .9 of the voice acting, which is curious. I don't know why they decided to do that. It's like a downgrade. And uh, there also seems to be a couple of glitches as well, because you may recall in my earlier videos when I was uh, talking to those trees, it, it looked like there was a cutscene that was going to trigger, and it didn't. Uh, I think it was the rotor trees. And then when I was talking to that girl, um, the one who was supposed to sing me a poem and I was supposed to get a Steve, Steam achievement for, the cutscene just never triggered right. I don't know if it's a problem with Steam or if it's my computer, I don't know, but, uh, and, um, there's not much replay value, too, with this game, unfortunately. I mean, there's a, there's an achievement, uh, there's more achievements that I've yet to unlock is an achievement to um, to get by unlocking the entire bestiary. That's all the characters, all the enemies. Um, there's an achievement if you defeat the game on the max difficulty level, but I don't know if I'm going to do that so soon. Um, so I guess uh, if you're a fan of the East franchise, yeah, guess check check this game out. I bought it for cheap in uh, one of the Steam Summer Sales. Uh, I didn't particularly enjoy it, but uh, you know, obviously it's just my opinion for what it's worth. And um, that wraps up my first Let's Play series. Uh, I hope it was at least semi-enjoyable. I apologize if I made missteps along the way. I'm absolutely new to this. And I don't know if I'm going to make another Let's Play series, I'll probably try to do it with a game that I'm more hmm, adept at, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's it. So, until next time, take care everyone, and happy gaming.